Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my very first unboxing of the Boxy Lux. So this is, you can see how big this is. This one is for March of 2019. It's only my second box with them. I've been dying to open this one up. So I've had this one since Tuesday and you can even see on the bottom here, I've not even opened the tape up. So the suspense is killing me to find out what's in here. So we're gonna rip this tape open in hopes that I do not cut myself because I don't know how to handle sharp things and I always end up stabbing myself. Okay, so while I'm opening this, just to give you a little bit more detail, um, the first box that I paid for February of 2019, that one alone was $20, $21 even. Um, that's what you would pay for the monthly subscription. Now every three months you get the option to upgrade to the boxy Lux charm um box so with this one it's an additional 28 dollars um with that being said the, the way they charge me is 21 dollars first then later on throughout the day they charge me the 28 i don't know if it's 28.99 or just 28 but with that um additional amount you don't get the small box you get the upgraded version of it and again it's only every three months so first off what I have here, I guess, is the description of everything that comes in here. So as we go through the products, I'll read off the prices, and we can add them up in the end. It's supposed to be, I believe, a value of 250 or more. So I mean, we'll see how true that is. Ooh, so first thing out of the box here, it comes like this. So you can see that. First thing out of the box, it looks like a makeup bag. So this is almost like a golden rose gold. So this one is set to be $20 and it's a boxy charm exclusive is what it is saying. So things on the package. And I don't think I have any makeup bags, so this is perfect. Look how cute that is. So it's a perfect travel size bag just for whatever you need on the go and you open it up looks just like that it says back to charm that is very cute so this is set to be twenty dollars that's already supposedly the half price of what we pay the twenty one dollars covering that so next we have lily lashes so we have these and these are cruelty free strip lash strip lash <laughs> reusable with proper care so these are limited edition lashes is what the back is saying. So per this, these are said to be $24.99. So already the value of what I've paid for the whole box. So we'll be trying those on. And then these, let me see. Ooh, cool. So this is an eyebrow cushion. So let's actually try this one on right now. And again, it's going to be an eyebrow cushion, so I'm not sure... It's going to be a liquid or what. Um, this one is said to be $40 just for this. So even this almost covers the whole price of the box. If I can open this without destroying the thing. Does anybody else struggle with this? I'm trying to keep the box looking nice. And here I am about to rip it up. Okay. Ooh, so you open this up. It looks like this. Nice and shiny. Let me open it up and it has a mirror in here with the little film. And so the way you open it is there's a little tab right here and that comes apart but there's also a little brush set that unfolds which is pretty handy for traveling so you don't have a big old brush or you know Looking that around. How do you open this? It's a little tab, you pull it off. And this is perfect because my brows are pretty dark. So it comes with two different shades. Whenever you're done, you would just close it up. But it's very compact and travel friendly. So let's give this one a shot. I've never had a cushion eyebrow product. I'm excited. I would usually do brush all these in line. Excuse the fluffy hair, second day curls. I'm trying to make it work here. 
So I'm going to go ahead and dip into the light color first. Just slightly because I don't know how much this is going to pick up. You know what I mean? Okay, so I just kind of did a brush or stroke on here. And it seems pretty subtle. I don't know if you can see that. No, it's like with the fit stroke there. So it's pretty light. I'm just going to lightly damp into it. And then just outline the bottom here. So... This one came out better than this one. I think this was user error. Maybe I have to get used to the way it goes on. It's not a bad product. I think it just gets some taking, takes some getting used to. I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say here. So that's that. I'm feeling a little fluffier than usual, but we'll just carry on. Okay, so on to the next product we have wonder beauty lift off purifying and brightening peel off mask now i will say i was looking for something like this but i'm sometimes very cheap i don't know if you can see that very well yeah i don't like paying too much for masks so i'm very picky on what i decide to go with and actually with this coming in just stops my shopping there i don't have to look for anything but this one comes with 2.02 ounces of product and it is worth $34 is what this is supposed to be worth. So later on, maybe I can do a try on with this. So let's look next. Ooh, we have some, looks like Moda brushes. It's powder and soft glow. So this is for wet and dry product, waterproof metallic handle, sturdy aluminum. I'm not going to try to say that word. Secures bristles. So something secures the bristles <laughs> professional quality fibers so this is the next product and it tells you on the back um, which brush is for powder which one's for the soft glow so I'm assuming for highlight so that looks like so this one is set to retail at $29.99 so clearly all of these prices have already exceeded what I've paid for the box which makes my life easier because I don't have to go looking for products and I get to try some on. And this is clearly a full size. So the next one here is going to be It Confidence and a Cream Transforming Moisturizer Super Cream. So this is an It Cosmetics um, moisturizer. There we go. So this one is 2 um, US Fluid Ounces and it is said to be retailed at $48. So this is definitely the full size. I will not be putting this on because I already have my moisturizer, but I will give it time just so I can determine whether or not this is something I would actually enjoy or purchase again. So this is a full size product and it is very heavy, not at all a travel size. And that one is retailed to be at $48. The next one I have, Deborah Lippman. It looks like nail polish. So these are the ones. Turn around. And just to give you a look, I'll go ahead and put um, quick color on my nails. Excuse my cuticles. They're not very well taken care of. Um, with this one, Deborah Lippman Dole Patent Formula. So it's valued at $20 for 
a two-piece set. So these are very neutral, something you can wear alone or maybe together. If I can get one in there. Okay, and then the next one, it's more of like a slight shimmer. Focus, focus. There we are. Okay. So I'm looking at this one. This one is called Modern Love. These are very pretty. These look like perfect nudes for springtime. One on my index finger here, that one's going to be Modern Love. And the second one here is O'Donna. They are both very pretty. So that's the color for these. And again, those are Deborah Lipman, O'Donna Modern Love. Retailed. Oh my god, I almost spilled that. Okay, those are retailed to be uh, $20 for these small little bottles. And I don't think either of them say how much they come with. Or do they? It says 0.27 fluid ounces in each one. So that is very pricey for nail polish. I know I would not be paying that. Next one, moving on. Is going to be a Becca lipstick, the ultimate lipstick. So this one looks like I have the shade chocolate. If I can open this box, I would love to show you how it looks. Okay. So this is the Becca packaging. So this one is said to be retail. Ooh, it's magnetic. Ooh, okay, so this one's set to be retailed at $24, so we'll add that on in the end. I'm going to do a foundation look so you can see everything that I have on. Okay, so the next product is going to be the Cover FX, and it's the Perfector Face Palette. So this one tells you the names on the back. The packaging is not too bad. I mean, I'm not too picky, but it's just basic plastic packaging. We've seen, I'm sure, their stuff before. So this one, let me see, is retailed at $45. It comes with a mirror, but it has the film now. And this is the shades that come in here. So I believe if they're corresponding to the back, this should be um, Sublime. No, I think it's backwards. Whoops. This one's Sublime Blush. This one's a Stellar Finishing Powder. This one's a Silhouette Contour. Let me see. This is kind of hard to go backward. <laughs> this one should be Divine Highlight. This one's Starlight Highlight. And this one is Moonbeam Brightener. So I will be putting these to the test here. We want to do some quick swatches. So this one's the highlighter here. And we're just going to swatch it right here. I don't know if you can see that. The next one's going to be the bronzer. I think that matches so well with my skin tone that it's not really showing up. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so that's the bronzer. It's very, this one's actually a perfect shade for me because I don't like anything too deep. And just to get more of this one. Okay, so that is the highlight and the bronzer. This one's supposed to be a finishing powder. It does seem to have somewhat shimmer. You won't be able to see that. I don't even know why I tried. <laughs> then we have the brightener. This one's the brightener. Let's see if you can see this one. You can. I don't know what you would use that one for. It just says, it's just a brightener. I don't know. A highlight? Same difference? Um, my hands are dirty. Let me go clean it. I don't think I thought that one through. Okay. Next one is the highlight right here. So going into that. Ooh. Can you see that one? Maybe not. Anyway, well, that one shines quite a bit, and my face will get out of the frame. Maybe this will focus. No? No? Not happening? It's not going to focus. And then, last, I have the pink blush here. So I don't think I've ever 
received or bought a paint brush like that so that one these are all very light like you have to work them up and I prefer it you can see the pink there on the same colors all these products so it is, is a little bit hard for you to see them especially the shimmer but we'll try them on hopefully the finished look you'd be able to see a little bit better okay so again cover um, FX that one's $45 okay, I don't know how many more we have Ooh, this seems to be the last one in here so we have the Morphe 15 shade artistry palette and this one's said to be taught $16 so I've never owned a Morphe palette it was in the back of my mind I was going to eventually purchase one but as of you know right now this is my first one so let's see this one's called blend the rules no I lied maybe it's called day slayer what am I talking about I'm just making stuff up oh I messed up my nail polish okay so opening this up very bubble wrapped this is the packaging it's very sleek and it comes with the mirror oops oops and the film fell off so here's the mirror okay and then here is the actual colors so this one seems to be very neutral my type of eyeshadow because you can dress it up or dress it down I mean if you want to have an easy eyeshadow oranges and browns are always easy to go to I don't know where this came from but we're gonna set that there so I'm just gonna jump into my look and um, the foundation I'll be using I'm sure I've already done a review on this one will be the Catrice liquid coverage so I'm just gonna get right into my look and we'll be using the cover FX Morphe Becca and these brushes so let's jump right into it
Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I, um, as you can see, I put all the products in front of the camera so you can see what I was using. These eyelashes were not as hard to put on as my previous struggles. Maybe it was the lighting, I have no clue, but the lashes are very pretty. They're voluminous, but I, you can pull this off for an everyday look for sure. Um, I did forget to use these brushes, darn it. I brought my whole little stack of brushes that I had from the restroom over there and I forgot about the new ones so next time I'll put those to use um oh and I did forget to put on the lipstick so let's put this on and then we will go over the total prices um of everything so it smells good they're kind of like coconut This has more of a, not a shimmer, it's, it has a nice shine to it, it's not matte, I don't usually go for these, just because I feel like it's more for events or, you know, you're going to dress up somewhere, but this one I like, it's very um, sheer, so you kind of have to build it up a little bit, and it's not just a pigment all at once, but this looks really nice. So this one again, um, just to give you a reminder, is a chocolate color with the magnetic top maybe just snaps who knows so let's get a hold of this thing and my phone somewhere so again this should be valued i believe at 250 or more so going through everything i got a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten full size products and that's including the makeup bag making money again okay so adding these up first one is a cover fx so it's 45 dollars plus the brushes are 29.99 plus the eyebrow cushion is 40. i don't know if i would pay 40 for that um the wander beauty is 34. the lashes are 24.99 the it cream is 48 dollars the Becca lipstick is $24. Morphe is $16. The nail polish are $20. And the um, makeup case is $20. So with sorry, with all that being added together from what this um, says here, comes out to $301.98. So it's just adding everything up here. God, I'm horrible with this today. Okay, <laughs> so 30198 so that is a really good price for what you get. These things alone, I wouldn't have bought on my own. Since they come in this box, I think it's a perfect opportunity to get, give those friends those chances or um, reviews on the products. On, again, something I wouldn't have considered on my own. So that is it for today's video. Thank you again all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more future videos like this. But until next time, I will see y'all then.